free download Friday. Crab Tendo. What is going on, guys? DJ App here. And man, I ain't gonna lie, with a name like Trap Tendo, I am really excited to play this right here, which is Devil May Cry 5. It just came out today, and I'm really ready to play this thing. However, I got work to do, and today we're gonna check out ADSR Sample Manager. And I think it's a really good tool, especially in certain DAWs. Guess which one I'm talking about. <laughs> for looking up samples and i want to give a special shout out to adsr because i have done courses with that company and i do think their courses are legit and i also love their sound design as i used to use a lot of their presets back in the day and i do think that they provided a pretty creative tool with sample manager so let's check that out shall we so the link in the description box will look like this right here it'll take you to adsr sample manager all you have to do is have an account there so sign up there and check it out they have other stuff that you can check out too as well and the sample manager is pretty good it's free as you can see and all you got to do is click on it and fill out your information and then they will send it to your email so here's a summary of the things that you could do with sample manager the most effective way to access all your samples at once ADSR sample manager keeps your project in the flow while keeping all the action right in your DAW where it should be so here are the bullet points all your samples searchable in an instant directly in your DAW here samples in context of your music with MIDI input Drag samples directly in your projects, very helpful. Use multiple instances directly in your project. Loop sync, automatically tag all your samples in a flash. Add your own custom tags, use with services like Splice, Noise, and Loop Cloud. Shout out to Loop Master. VST and audio unit available. Save time and money on finding the perfect sound so you can spend both on making better music. They also provided videos so you can check out some of the information just in case I might miss something in this video. So check that out as well. So here it is in the flesh here. So the first thing I wanna do is show you something in the browser here. And this has always bothered me in FL Studio. So I already typed in the word trap here. I'm gonna clear that out and just type trap again. And as you can see, when I do hit enter, it doesn't do much of anything. Like it doesn't search any of the stuff. So that's where ADSR comes in with the sample manager. And then you just add the library by hitting that right there. I'm gonna go to my D drive and I'm going to select my app patches 2016. Yes, I know it's 2019. It's gonna scan everything into sample manager so it will tag everything so that it will have everything organized. So that is a really strong tool to have and I'm really happy to use this. I'm just waiting here for the, everything to load up. So it could be a timely process, it depends on how much you have. I do have a lot of samples, of course. So. Here it goes is at 100% and as you can see it has like one tag that's dedicated to a lot of stuff but it just tells you like all the reports of everything that you have here so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just click OK and it has all the stuff in there so the first thing I'm gonna type in is Traptendo I'm gonna see what's under Traptendo so we got TSP Traptendo kick Traptendo Traptendo Trap Tendo Tunes Radio Trap Tendo Tunes Radio Trap Trap So as you can see that it pulled up everything that had the Trap Tendo name without a hint and, and something like that is very useful for when you really want to find certain things You know, I pulled up my the Trap Tendo tag uh, I'm gonna go see what's under like Tamarine Let's see here, boom so if I need a tambourine, and I'm actually really impressed with this because not only is it just like pulling up to tambourines or whatever that I typed in, now I can get access to that. You know, I can drag and drop that in there if I wanted to use this one. And you do have a right click option here. You can trim the file. A whole file you can uh, do whatever you want as far as this here and you can also use your MIDI controller if you have a MIDI controller uh, linked to your DAW to audition the sound 
So that's pretty cool as well. And you can sync it to your DAW. As you can see, like some of the loops was already synced. Uh, this normally, this sample normally will not be uh, linked there. Let's see. Let's see, it's at 130. See, as if I play this now, so you can we can really hear how it sounds like. I'm going to go to song mode. So it doubles, Sample Manager doubles as something that can sync your loops. Because in FL Studio, if it's not an acidized loop, that means that it will not uh, link to the song immediately like how it would in like Ableton Live or something like that because of time warping. Now you can, you know, set this up to where you can time stretch or fit the tempo or whatever. But, you know, messing with FL... <laughs> Messing with that fail could be a, a wee bit annoying. So let me just get out of that. But anyways, so it has a lot of usefulness to it is what I'm saying. Uh, other things you could do, you can, again, you can uh, trim it to wherever you want. You, you don't have to have this loop at all. You can have it play what's full here. Play full. You can add a gate effect to it, and here it's called stop. And you can favorite it too. If it's one of your favorite sounds, you can favorite it, and it'll pull up in your favorites. It's already in my favorites here. And you can add, and you can see your tags. You can add tags to it as well. You have a really interesting feature here, and it's called random. So it says select a sample at random from a current list. So I'm gonna go ahead, boom. Oh, that is actually kind of cool. Wow. So that's really cool. Damn. So keep, in, so keep in mind that Sample Manager is also a sampler in itself. So it's a really good tool for if you just want to make a beat and just have a sample that's in playing in real time, time stretching immediately instead of just having to set it up in FL, which is a pain in the ass. You have different playbacks too. You can re uh, play stuff in reverse. So you can also do that in in loop too. Let's go ahead and mess with uh, a loop here. Let's go. All right, so we're going to see if that is going to be on time. And we're going to test out ADSR's dope plug-in here and see how good it is with that. Um, leave the metronome in there. Yeah. So let me know how you feel about this in the comment section. Again, the link will be in the description box. I feel like it's a really good tool. I think that ADSR outdid themselves for this to be a free tool and it, to have all this functionality and to damn near compete with the sampler built in the FL Studio and in other dolls as well, pretty damn good. So just let me know your opinions because I definitely want to hear them and so does ADSR on things that you might want to improve on it.